What's going on, everybody? We're going to go at another box of beta. So at that last box, we pulled the, the great, great misprint Blink Blizzard, Blink version. So we're going to keep trying to go at it. We had an extra, we had an extra unique going on, too. There we go. A little surgical procedure there. A little extra Blink. Blink and Blizzard. Look at how good that looks. Let's take that out of the mix. Boom! Pretty awesome. So, we're after some, some solid hits today. Uh, again, Curios, Foil Cores, all the good the goodness that uh, we just want to keep on hitting and ripping. So, Cauldron, Boars, Teleport, okay. We didn't have any unique foils though in the last video, which you know, sometimes happens, and I, oh, Sunken Treasure right off the bat. Hello. Boom, Sunken Treasure. Well, there we go, that was a little bit hard to open there. A little bit hard to open. Dwarven Diggers, some Manticore. Blink, there's the actual Blink, not the Blizzard. Okay. Sunken Treasure is not my favorite card. It's a good uh, artwork, but not my favorite. Master Tracker. Grappler. We got a dark box in here. That's a dark box indeed. Let's see if things are a little clumpy clump clumped. Cave Trolls. Fay. Spin. Nothing. What are the singles doing on this? The singles are drifting down, but the moment that this stuff goes out of stock in Team Covenant, it's gonna be a free-for-all because everybody's gonna try to go and buy up sealed product. They're gonna try to, you know, buy all the missing singles that they don't have in their collection that they're not gonna be able to pull because the boxes become too expensive. So we're, I th in my opinion, not far away from something crazy going down. All right, so it's we're looking, you know, I I think max two more months max. I but I, I think there's such beautiful mechanism. Um, love this card, need it in foil. Um, I think we're looking at two more months max, just given how in demand this has been. So once again, once that happens, everyone's gonna be racing. Oh boy, we boom, boom, boom. That's a that's a pull. Philosopher Gun is stone here today. Oh, wow, there we go. That's a that's indeed a that's indeed a pull. Holy cow! <laughs> oh, wow. So, you know, will they ever reprint this stuff? Maybe. You know, maybe we'll do an they'll do an unlimited run. Um, you know, maybe not. But I don't think it would be a bad thing, even if they did, to be honest, because I think that. It's good to get people in the game because the more people you get in the game, the more demand for older cards of value and the more, the better that everybody's collection does. So I don't think it's a bad thing. It's a symbiotic relationship between new people entering, overprinting cards, and think of it as like in the stock market where, you know, let's say you hold a share of stock and then they issue more stock and they dilute your share. But in this instance, you're not truly diluted in the same sense because your shares will go back up with more people being in the game and more demand being placed upon the cards. We got a foil coming in and I don't know what this one is. Men, the men, I don't think I have the men. Ooh, the men's a pull. The men are a pull. Let's take a look at their eyes. The men of Lang. Boom. It's an ordinary that I have not yet pulled. So, um, does it say something to clumping? Potentially, right? Because I haven't pulled a stone in a long, 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 long time. Um, so, I don't know. Are there questions about that? Are there certain cards that, you know, are clumped at the beginning or end of the, of the shipments of boxes? Potentially, right? Absolutely, potentially. Um, but again, I don't, I mean, as long as prices are, are holding, and, and they are, there's nothing to be worried about if 
you know, some of these cards are reprinted, like, talk, reserveless talk, especially this early in the game, absolute nonsense, um, in my opinion. So, I think things are on an excellent trajectory. Um, you know, this is still holding, what, 150? 160? That's still holding. Now, I probably will hold that and not sell until, you know, things are out of print, right? Because it's going to go up. It's destined to go up. There, there's no other way around it. I mean, it's just too good. It's just too good. So, um, again, get what you need to get now before you start scrambling and have to pay the higher prices. Get what you need to get. If you're missing stuff, get it. Because you want to get it before it's too late. Roman Drown Palaburn. The Vile Imp. I really want that curio. Madness. Mirage. Okay, we got something in here. And it's a Guile. The Guile Sirens. We pull a lot of Guile Sirens, speaking of. So let's just take a little peek. She always got stuff hidden treasure down there below that you can't see if you don't have the foil version of it. You can't see that. Boom, Blasted Oak. We haven't pulled one of you in a while either. I've noticed that I do pull a Blasted Oak last time. <laughs> Two sunken treasures. Just, just, I mean, we got the stones. I, I can't complain. Um, but two sunken foil treasures. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, we got another foil coming in. Amethyst core. What a box, huh? What a box, folks. This is like, this is heating up. This is heating up. That's one of the pulls you want to see every single day of the week. Um, this box is heating. Payload. Okay. I think I am missing this one, too. Again, I want the things I'm missing, because I want I don't want to have to go and pay the gold price. I, want, I pay the iron price, where what I mean is, is I pull the cards that I need from the boxes that I open. Um, I don't want to pay the, iron, the gold price for things. I unfortunately have to pay the gold price for a couple things, because I don't know that I'm going to be opening enough boxes before this is all said and done to pay for or to pull everything I need to pull. Cerberus could pull three or four bucks. The, the um, talk of prices, right? So if we're talking prices, um, the Philosopher's Stones between 150 and 200, the Amethyst Cores between uh, 65 and 75, and the mechanisms around 10. There's our Death Speaker. So that's the talk of prices for today. Amethyst core and a stone in one box, like, that's about as good as it gets. It doesn't get much better than that. Nightmare. Okay, blinky blink blink. Dead of Night Demon. It doesn't get much. Oh, that's a really loose pack, so they probably put something really good in this one, or else it's missing some cards. Oh, there is a foil. And we got a Primordial Spring. And it looks like a fade. Nomads. An uh, ordinary person there, just nomadic. Um, I'm not sure if I, I don't remember if I have this one or not. I'm down to like 70 foils that I need in my collection. So it's, it's close, folks. It's close. Oh, we got another foil. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. We got the Rift Valley. And what do we got today? Flanking Maneuver. I definitely have that, but it's beautiful. The foiling, foiling is not really cheap to do like this, and the double-sided printing and stuff like that. This is not a, you know, this isn't a cheap endeavor. If you're to go and find and ask a card shop to print you 500 foil cards like that, it's gonna cost you like two grand. So, gilded, nice, gilded. A couple bucks on that, nothing crazy. Midnight Road, okay. Orb. Man, we got the stone, the orb, the amethyst. So that's our final uh, unique, unless something crazy happens. Which, I don't know, maybe it will. Maybe cra crazy things do happen. They do happen. Oh, we see something that looks like a sight or something. It looks a little wild. 
that's a rift that goes there, a bottomless. Flood, okay, flood. Flood, 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 flood. Three, six, seven, eight. I think we're only missing one foil. So, let's see what it is. Island. Three, six, seven, eight. No, 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 that's not a unique. Sorry. Sorry, memory lapse. So sorry, Crave Golem. I don't have this one. Memory lapse. So sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Purgey Purge? Can we get a Curio, people? Can we do it? They're setting us up for the end of this box to be a, a Curio. We got enough packs with uh, no foils and no nothing in them. They're setting us up. Atlantean Fate. That is another unique. What in the world is going on? Three, six, seven, eight uniques. Something's up. Something's up. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. That doesn't make any sense. That's not supposed to happen. Infiltrate. Nice. A boil. The lampreys. We did pretty incredible on this box, though, folks. Pretty incredible. I didn't notice that little fish there in the corner. Pretty incredible. Last pack. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all the support. Um, good deals coming in, a, in the next uh, week or two on my website, so I'm excited to start to do more and tell you guys more about that. And uh, that's about it. So you guys have a good one. Appreciate it. Talk to you all later.